I've got a really quick tip for you today. This is something I do all of the time without even thinking about it. But in case it's not something you've done, I wanted to share this tidbit. Okay, for starters, this tip applies primarily to those who shoot in aperture priority or in manual mode. And it applies to when you are shooting with a variable aperture zoom lens, like this Nikon 18-55 f3.5 to f5.6, or this Nikon 24-85 f3.5 to f4.5. Here I have my Canon Rebel T4i. And I know I'm usually talking about Nikon, but I've got this Canon that I often use to test out Canon lenses and accessories. And this tip that I have will work for Nikon, Canon, and other brands. I've got the 18 to 55 kit lens on it, which is a variable aperture zoom. What does that mean? It means that at the widest setting, you can open the aperture for F3.5, but at 55 millimeters, you're limited to F5.6. Quite often when I'm shooting with a variable aperture lens, I simply want the camera to give me the widest available aperture for the zoom setting that I'm at. For example, if I'm at 18 millimeters, I want f3.5 with this lens. If I zoom in to the 40 to 55 millimeter range, I don't want to select the aperture. I just want the widest one that is offered at that zoom setting to let the most light into the camera and give me the most favorable shutter speed for the available light. When I zoom back out to 18 millimeters, I wanna go back to f3.5 again. Maybe I'm in a low light situation. Maybe I want the shallowest depth of field that I can get. Whatever the case, here's a little tip that you can use when setting up your camera to shoot where you can have it use the widest available aperture no matter the focal length. For starters, I've set the camera to aperture priority on the top dial. Like I said a minute ago though, this would also work in manual. Next, I zoom out all the way, 18 millimeters on this lens. Then I set f3.5, the widest aperture available here. Now looking at the screen, as I zoom in, the camera keeps the widest available aperture for my zoom setting. And look what happens as I zoom back out. It keeps giving me the widest aperture for the zoom setting, all the way back down to f3.5 at 18 millimeters. Now let's see what happens if you didn't set things up this way. Let's go to 55 millimeters and I'll mess with the aperture a bit. Then I zoom out. Look, it stays at f5.6 even when I zoom out to 18 millimeters, even though f3.5 is available. Now this isn't a flaw with the camera's thinking or anything like that. It's truly trying to do what I want it to do. So at 18 millimeters, I set f3.5 again, and now I'm good to go for the widest available aperture up and down the zoom range. That's it, just a quick tip that will help you get the most out of that lightweight, inexpensive, fun to use variable aperture lens that may be attached to your camera right now.